Dear students, in this video, we will solve the problem number 8.2 from the chapter number 8. The problem is a logic circuit with active low synchronous reset. That means we have an active low reset signal, has two control inputs and we have two control inputs x and y. If x equal to 1 and y is 0, register R is incremented by 1. Let us assume that the active low synchronous reset signal is reset underscore b okay so this is the active low synchronous reset signal we have two control inputs so control inputs x and y okay so whatever given i have i am writing here next if x is 1 and y is 0 register r is incremented by 1 so if x is equal to 1 and y is 0 and y is 0 so what happens r is incremented by 1 that is r is the r plus 1 that means r plus 1 that is the incremented value of r will be stored in r and control goes to the second state and the control if it is in the first state s1 it will go to second state s2 just noting down whatever it is given in the question second condition is if x is 0 and y is 1 the register r is cleared to 0 and control goes from initial state to the third state okay so register r is cleared okay so r will be loaded with 0 okay this is 0 value and what happens the initial state s1 it will go to s3 otherwise the control stays in the initial state otherwise s1 stays in s1 so this is given in the question this is given in the question now what we have to do we have to draw the block diagram showing the controller data path unit with internal registers and signals so first of all we have to draw the block diagram and the second part of the question we have to draw the portion of the asmd third starting from initial state from s1 we have to start and we have to show the asmd chart so first of all let us draw the block diagram so here we'll have one controller unit suppose this one is controller we have control input signal x and y we have one synchronous reset signal okay that means we have to apply here a reset signal so we have assume it to be reset underscore small b suppose this block is showing the data path okay and we have to show the register also inside it okay so suppose this one is one register r okay so this one is suppose register r so here we'll have contents so this is register r so we have to put a synchronous clock signal so we have to apply here clock and this will be applied to both this data path and the controller okay apply the clock here we have two signal that will be one is the clear signal and one is the increment signal as per the given condition okay here we are given that we have to clear or we have to increment depending on the values of x and y okay that means when x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 we have to increment the register so when x is 1 and y is 0 we have to increment the register so let us give here a signal so here we'll have this one is increment incr underscore capital r okay that means increment the register r now this register value will be incremented next when we have x is 0 and y is 1 when x is 0 and y is 1 we have to clear the register with 0 when x is 0 and y is 1 so what will happen we have to clear the register so we will send a control signal to this data path okay that will be clearing the register r okay clr underscore r now we have completed this block diagram so first part of the problem is complete now now let us go to our second part in the second part we have to draw the asmd chart asmd chart we have to draw now so here the initial state will assume it to be s1 okay so this is a state box so first of all let us assume that this is state is s1 now let us see here 
this ASMG chart will have a active low synchronous reset okay that means we have to use here a decision box now so draw a decision box so here we'll have suppose 0 and here we'll have suppose 1 at this decision box we'll have the reset signal reset underscore b so when this reset b is equal to 0 that means we have active low signal what will have it will remain in the same state okay now when we have 1 so what will happen we have to check for the control signals so when we have reset b not equal to 0 and when we have x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 okay so what will happen that means we have to check another condition okay now let us first on this consider the x condition here so here we'll draw another decision box okay so this is x so when this is x is 1 it will come this way and when x is 0 it will come this way when x is 1 and y is 0 that means we have to consider another decision box so what will happen when x is 1 and we have to put here some y condition y okay when x is 1 and suppose here we have y is 1 and here we have suppose y is 0 so when x is 1 and y is 0 what will happen it will increment the register so when x is 1 and y is 0 it has to increment so here we have to use a conditional box so this is conditional box so at this conditional box what we have to do we have to increment the content of the register that means we have to apply here increment underscore r okay in incr in underscore r that will increment the register r so as per the question we have to go to the second state that is s1 will go to s2 so when we have this reset is not equal to 0 and x is 1 and y is 0 so what will happen we have to increment the register r that means now r will becoming r plus 1 so in this conditional box we have made this operation that is r will be incremented by 1 now it will go to another state that is state 2 as 2 okay so this part is complete that is first given condition we have achieved now and in the question it is given that otherwise it will go to s1 so when we have x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 so what will happen it will go to the state s1 okay this is state s1 so you have to bring this feedback to this s1 let us see the second condition in the second condition we are given that when x is 0 and y is 1 so in this left hand side we have x equal to 0 now we have to put another box decision box so here we'll have to put y y is 1 here and in there in this side y is 0 okay so when x equal to 0 and y equal to 1 what we have to do we have to clear the register okay so use a conditional box clear the register c l r underscore r so we have to clear the register r and we have to go to another state that is s3 third state s3 whenever we have x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 this is the otherwise condition that means it will go to the state s1 so from here it will go this way and to s1 so this is the ASMD chart as per the given question. So first of all, we are in state 1. So when reset is low, active low, it will remain in the same state. When reset is not equal to 0, that is 1, it will go to this condition. Okay, that means we have to now check the x condition. When x equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, it will increment the content of the register R and it will go to state S2 when x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 it will go to the same previous state that is s1 it will go to s1 now when x equal to 0 and y equal to 1 it will go to clear okay it will clear the register r that is we have to put this in conditional box 
and it will go to another state that is S3. And when x equal to 0 and y equal to 0, this is the otherwise condition, that is, it will remain in the same state S1. So this is the ASMD chart as per the given question, and here we have seen this block diagram. Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.